Hello and welcome to West Yorkshire Engine Services in the big UK. Big thank you to all you guys who subscribe to this channel. In today we've got ourselves a, a Nissan Cab Star with the YD25 engine in it. Now as you know I've been sharing all the faults with the Nissan YD25 engine but this is, we haven't seen this one for quite some time so I've not been able to share it with you. Now basically the Cab Star engine is the same engine what's in the Navara and the Pathfinder, the YD25 engine. Now, on my channel, we've proved lots and lots and lots of faults, but this one's as a new one that you haven't seen. And like every other fault, can actually cause major serious engine failure. Yes, serious engine failure. This particular vehicle, when it came to me, it come to me as a non-runner, put the key ignition, turn the key, and all of a sudden you hear a click. Just a click, that's all I could, that's all you would hear. So we tried turning the crankshaft by hand, and it was seized. So that was one of two things, either a snap chain or a hydraulic uh, engine. And basically, to cut a long story short, it was hydraulic. Now, come and have a look inside here, guys. You see all these water? That's a definite no-no, is that, boys? Absolute no-no. And the actual, what's caused that is the EGR cooler. Basically, this is, this, Exhaust gases travel through here and back in through your inlet and have manifold. Now it's actually cracked in here. So as it's sucking air through, it's actually sucking all the water with it. Now this customer's been very, very lucky. It hasn't actually bent any valves. Um, so we'll be able to get the head pressure test and skimmed, do the rebuild. You can actually do a bypass on these guys, but I wouldn't advise it on the cab star because it runs too hot anyway. But as a temporary fix, just to get, just to get you out of it, you can put a bypass in there. So you've still got a circulation of coolant. So that'll get you out of it short term. Um, but obviously the engine runs too hot in the cab stars, so it's just a short fix, you're gonna have to replace it. That part there from Nissan costs da, 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 over 650 pound plus VAT. So it comes in at around 750 quid in and around there. So it's an expensive part, but you've got to look at all the labor to get rid of all that coolant because the cylinder head's got to go back on. Right, so that's all I can share with you in this video. It's quite a simple repair, but the actual knock-on effect is quite serious. In my next video, guys, whoo, you're gonna really like this one. I've had a stalker. It's been stalking me for years. And in my next video, I'm gonna tell you all about them. So thanks for watching. If you need my help and assistance at all, give me a call on 01274. 029-809 email westyorkshireengines at gmail.com or you can find us on Facebook and you'll find the full story on Facebook.